Hello my friends and welcome back to This Game Likes to Crash Tactics. This is just before I went into turn-based mode. Now, out there somewhere, there's a guy with a minigun and I can't actually seem to find him. He's the only threat. Because he can burst fire bug my guys. Come on. Another one bites the dust. <clears throat> this is, you know, this is a very easy cleanup. All I have to do really is to just stay at max range and just snipe everybody. Ah, there's the guy with the minigun. He's probably aiming at someone who's not Steen. And Steen is taking the brunt of it. Wow, you can cuss yourself. You're a, f you're a fool. Oh, and Stitch is crippled. I think the minigun guy is almost dead. Stitch, you better fix your cripple. Status. There we go. Alright, we're all back up to full power. Almost dead. Dead. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, this is, you know, this is going to be very, this is going to be a very easy win. I'm done being tactical about this battle, really. Winded. I suppose we can always find another. Yeah, not being able to run is not really a big deal right now. Wasn't there a grint? Wasn't there a friggin' mine here? Steed, medic, stat. There you go. Yeah, there's this guy here. 
he blatantly has a hunting rifle. Or a sniper rifle or something along those lines. Someone out there has got a minigun. You know, Stitch might as well just do doctoring because it's not like he's he's got any capability of doing anything else. At these ranges. Oh, right, I see a lot of blood pools. And no enemies. Let's go. Oh, it is a Vindicator! There's the Vindicator minigun! It is the ultimate handheld weapon. Firing 7.62. Oh, knocked out, harsh. Harsh and amazing. Tell you, man, anyone who doubted the hunting rifle, it is a weapon of distinction. Alright, let's do a little comparison, shall we? 26 to 39, range 40. 45 range! What a monster! He's not strong enough to use it, though. Yes, I quite agree, the Vindicator is the ultimate weapon. It's actually got more range than the Browning. only requires a strength of 8 as well. I say only. Some pretty... Some pretty severe weight requirement there. Nice. Okay, there's a guy there who's unhurt with a minigun. Two guys. Right, let's make an anti-crash save every 10 minutes. Because guess what? I do not like having the game crash and losing like 15 minutes of progress. Wow. 
he's dead. <laughs> Man, this is like, this is the moment in the game where they were like, do you know what, just give them everything. And it's weirdly unbalanced in that you could have given us a sample of any of these weapons earlier on. So you just suddenly reach this point in the game where you're seeing the Steyr Org for the first time. And you definitely could have gotten that earlier. You're seeing the M40 grenade launcher for the first time. And that definitely could have been an earlier weapon as well. You're seeing the Vindicator minigun for the first time. I mean, I can understand holding that back. And you're seeing the plasma rifle for the first time. And the sunbeam laser rifle. Noting that... Basically, the Sunbeam laser rifle is better. It's just flat out better, so... You are never going to use the plasma rifle because you get it at the same time as, effectively, the gun that it, that is its upgrade. Where is the trap? That you found. It is there. So yeah, it's it's all a bit puzzling. As to why the game would just suddenly mag dump all this all this all these items and gear on you. I mean, they could give you weapons like this early and just give you no ammo for them or very little ammunition for them. You know, there would be no harm in starting you with an energy pistol, for example. If they only give you 60 rounds for it or something, it would soon disappear. But it would give you an opportunity to... ...do something with an energy weapon early. Okay, that guy just hit me twice. Ah, he's almost done. Oh! That is the noise that you are no longer detected by any enemies. Which means that they must be all dead. They're all dead! Gotta give them an A for effort though. Man, the Vindicator, the Vindicator minigun is amazing. Oh, what the hell is he shooting at me with? Well, whatever it is, he's nearly dead. I have so many first aid kits that I'm really not even concerned about, you know, managing their usage. Man, look at this. This is like an orgy of corpses. The one thing that none of them seems to be using particularly, other than a couple, is 7.62, but I have loads of it. Okay, this guy was, for some reason, carrying both kinds of ammunition. Good old mama. She can carry. A house key. In good condition. No. Okay.
Poor Reavers. Without the super mutants, vaunted hit points. They don't really have much of a chance, although that guy launching M40s at me, that definitely hurt. Oh well, I guess that means I get more EXP. Healing people. And still, we've probably made more the healing than we've used. Because of all those stim packs that I found earlier. scenes. I mean, this this really is just a complete, like, this, this is where the designers just lost the plot and were like, okay, just give them everything. Just give them everything. Who cares? Man, that is a lot of sunbeam laser rifles, man. Okay, let's save. Area clear. One dude in there. With a minigun. He ran away. Trap on the door. I have 89 trap skill. Go. Locked. Nice hits. Apparently there's a hole in this wall somewhere because I can actually see him. Anyway, I don't want to tangle with a guy with a minigun at point blank range. That will be super bad. Jesus Christ, how many HPs has this guy got? 24, 27, 24, 27. Oh, okay, there we go. What is that guy's panties made of uh, friggin' adamantium or what? Adamantium panties! Uh, okay, you've got the key, right? Unlocked. Everyone is fat with loot. Apart from Steam. And I'm sure there's plenty more loot to find. Robot torso. No description available. Let's 
go and check the upper floors before we move on. Oh! Two guys. Whew. Ow. I didn't realize that they were there. I suppose I could have turned around and just opened fire there, but whatever. Uh, I'm only slightly encumbered. Like a, th a few good grenade tosses would actually cure me of that. <laughs> Detect this. Is it just me or is that guy there just lying on the floor? Oh, 32 damage. Objective complete. Confront the Reavers in their camp. That means that whoever that is lying on the floor is not a Reaver. No, it is a Reaver. He's just kind of sat there. <laughs> Victims were apparently eaten. Some of my guys are very close to leveling up. Okay, fail. Totally overburdened with stuff. Almost everyone is totally overburdened with stuff. So let's go to the Emporium and see if we can sell some of it. Ah yes, look. This was the guy that had the sniper rifle. a lot of grenades. I'll be back. That's the exit grid over there. So what I might do is, if the shop is not worth, like if there's nothing worth the effort in the shop, I might end up just putting Mother in the exit zone and loading her up with stuff like a frigging donkey until she is immobilized. Come on, Stitch, you're the most important one. You're my you're my negotiator. You're the only one with a barter skill worth writing home about. Although honestly, I can't think of what I would want to buy. Hmm. 
you know, that is another thing to consider is like, you know, what is it that we want to buy? If anything. Ah, it's a trap! Damn. Bandaged. Tell you what, let's just doctors everybody. Because everyone's either got the bandaged state or is injured, so. Stitch failed to heal Farsight somehow. Despite his incredible doctor skill. Okay. Let's go. Trap skill. You're not very good at this, are you? This is what I mean by trap skill is like... Just a fiasco. And I'm not about to take my armor off to try and get a higher trap skill. In case that happens. See what I mean? So if you want to be able to successfully remove traps... You are going to have to, uh, you know, reliably, you're going to have to get a load of perks or have an incredibly high skill level. It's just not worth it. It is genuinely not worth the effort. What are you doing? Okay, you are not involved in this. <laughs> okay, still took some damage. Just much better off shooting at them. I do get that if you use the trap skill, you can recover them. Some level designer decided to put all these mines down. And here I was thinking that I had found a shortcut. Interestingly, everyone is no longer encumbered. Oh, everyone was super close to maxed out. So the usage of some items has actually freed up... Freed up their movement. Ah, fellow warrior! <laughs> come in, come in! Fellow you warrior! For good, sir, do you want to hear about what happened? Well, that robot limped into Junction City just looking for trouble. 
Now, if you ask anyone in town, you'll hear that my skills in fighting are only overshadowed by my ability to stock my store shelves. I could swear that robot almost turned around and ran when it saw who it was up against. This kind of makes up for all the times I got picked on when I was younger. Anyway, <laughs> I have a piece of the monster if you want to trade. My buddy Hank's got one too. You should go find him. Okay. Uh, I am never gonna use 44 Magnum rounds or friggin' healing powder ever again. But hey, here, how about a minigun? <laughs> and a friggin' uh, micro sledge. The melee weapon of choice. Wow, just one of those is worth a small fortune. Go ahead and give Stitch all the junk that I definitely want to get rid of. Like the knives and the hammers. Maybe a couple of sterogs just to see if they uh, sell well. Okay, they go for a reasonable amount. Okay, I would say that that is close enough. and 12 I'll do of course that also means that there's uh, um There's uh, no other way to uh, get rid of stuff. Some jerky. Tradable trash. Hey, energy cells. Never say no to energy cells. Chuck. Oh, there, stranger. I bet you're looking for some of that devilish contraption. Well, just your luck, you found me. I was able to retrieve the part that flew out of its chest when it blew up. I need some cash to buy some medicine for my sick mother. You want to work something out? Uh. Well, I'll have that scout handbook. That is blatantly a sex toy and a radio. <laughs> so that's either been done for a laugh or that's not real. 
But what is real is that that other stuff. Which I will definitely take. Wow, look at that. It's almost an exact match. And while I think that the Sunbeam Rifle is a fantastic weapon, you need to be built for energy weapons to use it, and you need 10 AP for it to be effective. So... I don't think... I do not think that uh, I'll be having many more Sunbeam Rifle characters. Plus the ammo is, I mean, not super rare if you cheese the crap out of that early mission, but rare enough. some serious outdoorsman skill. Wow. Are you who I think you are? Oh, God, look at me. I'm a mess. Anyway, I'm Casey, the local mechanic, and it's a pleasure to meet you, warrior. I heard that you guys know how all sorts of stuff works. What? You want me to join? I'd like to, but I don't think you understand how sick my pa is. He got shot in the first reaver attack, and I think it's infected. Last night his tongue started to turn black, and then he messed himself five times, and guess who had to clean that shit up? I wish there was a doctor in this town. Well, guess what? We have the good doctor! You did it. That's Skills. great. I'll tell you what. I'll take him into the senior citizen work farm. The fresh air might do him some good, and I'm getting really tired of wiping his wrinkly ass anyway. He did always tell me to follow my dreams. Just let me pack up my things, and I'll meet you back at the bunker. Sweet! Wow, that was massive EXP. But not quite enough to level the main character. I've given up on stealth in this game. Let's just go ahead and dump those points into our primary weapon skill. Alright, his uh, big gun skill has finally overcome his small gun skill. Now all I have to do is get him some power armor and stick a vindicator in his hands. In fact, he is strong enough to use one. He is actually strong enough to use one. That's amazing. So we got just ever so slightly less range than the sniper rifle, but uh, the damage output is going to be way higher. It's also going to be super thirsty, but you know. Super thirsty.
And the minigun is the perfect accompaniment. Uh, the Vindicator minigun is the perfect accompaniment to the sniper rifle. Although once your big skunk, uh, big scun, once your big gun skill is high enough, it will probably be uh, just better than the sniper rifle in every way. Well, you certainly don't fuck around. Don't say much either, but here, take it. I'm not gonna miss it, and this town doesn't need any more attention. Just remember that we're not interested in giving the Brotherhood all our young and food. I know you guys could probably take this town in about mm, five minutes, but I'm hoping you'll let us be. And good luck in whatever the Brotherhood's doing. I get the feeling we should have spoken to this guy earlier. Well, you certainly don't fuck around. Gimme. Robot head. Hi, sir. I'm the mayor's assistant, Anna. How about I help you so you can get what you're after and things can go back to normal around here? Besides the mayor, I saw three people that were able to get a piece of that machine. Angry Rick the bartender, Hank the cheating family man, and Juan the shopkeeper. Someone said Casey Barrett has one too, but if you ask me, all she has is a bad case of the clap. Does that help? <laughs> Hank. Was that what that guy's name was? Pit. Oh, it's Angry Rick. You want me to sell my bar star attraction? Hey, listen, you asshole. This bar is how I pay my fucking bills. And that robot piece has brought more customers to my bar than my famous fermented Brahmin milk martini. Why don't you go shove a glass bottle up your ass and I'll kick it till it breaks. Get the fuck out of my face. Wow. He uh, certainly lives up to his name. He may be, uh, may be short for this world. Hey, I don't know who you used to deal with, but after I rip your fucking lungs out, I'm gonna smack your mother with him. <laughs> turn around and munch out of my fucking. Jesus. Stop it with the f bombs, man. YouTube will hate me forever. Okay. Don't get so fucking exciting. Please, you put that safety back on. Uh, there you go. Take a deep breath. You feel better? <laughs> hey, look. I'm sorry I yelled at you, but I'm going through a lot lately. The mayor's assistant, Anna, caught me smooching with Casey, and now she won't let me knock those boots no more. <laughs> look, if you look around, there ain't that many hot broads in this dump. And I ain't no Brahmin tag and tribal. I, I, uh, <laughs> no offense, buddy. <laughs> Here, just take it and leave me alone. <laughs> you have retrieved the robot pieces. Proceed to the exit grid to end this mission. Oh. Well, that was easy. I'm not done, though. All right, energy weapons go. One more level and I'll be able to buy <clears throat> uh, improved rate of fire, which will allow me to shoot the energy rifle twice. It's not a waste to have built up the small gun skill anyway, apart from the fact that you spend half the game using it. Apart from the fact that you spend half the game using it, it's, uh, or more than half the game using it. <clears throat> you don't want to use your energy cells for, uh, for random encounters and stuff if you want to do that. Okay, done. She can pick up living anatomy at her leisure.
Sadly, he needs power armor before he can use the minigun. So he's got a way to go. Wow, he's nev he's nearly level 15. But he will never be able to get bonus rate of fire. Because bonus rate of fire, I believe, costs uh, requires 7 luck and he's only got 5. We can take him to 6, which would get him bonus... Uh, bonus damage. Which is nice. Oh, Mother has hit level 15. Ton of fear. Actually, a really good trait if you're uh, melee based, but I'm really not a fan of melee. Silent running is also nice if you're melee based. Lots of nice hand-to-hand -hand bonuses here. Nothing to really help you... Um, throw grenades any better. You know, faster healing made sense in uh, the original games, but not in this. I don't even think that there's any real stat bonuses that are worth having here. You're also not allowed to gain intelligence as a death claw, which might be useful for, you know, building up your skills. You know what? Hit the deck might be good. Because, I mean, she spends all her time throwing grenades. Halving the damage that you take from accidental self-hits could be very good. We could also mutate a uh, bloody mess away for something else. But what? We could mutate Bloody Mess Away for Fast Shot. Which I think... I think reduces the cost of grenade throws, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's save. Because it would be horrible to buy a perk that doesn't work. Most of these are garbage, of course. Oh, a rabbit! But chemicals, including stim packs, have no effect on you. 
Ouch. Okay, fast shot is not even on the list. So I guess they thought about that. Or fast shot doesn't affect grenade throws. Okay, so that's pointless. Could get awareness just to see people's hit points, but that always feels like a waste of a perk. Don't really need agility. Perception doesn't matter because grenades can only be thrown a certain distance. I think strength affects throw. With each level of this perk, you gain four additional hit points every time you advance a level. But I don't know if that's retroactive. I'm pretty sure that it isn't. Although 15 times 4 would be pretty amazing. I'm going to suggest that that's not retroactive. But let's find out, because we saved, so... No, it's not retroactive, so it's a waste of time. That is unfortunate. Extra AP doesn't really matter. We got our uh, we got our twelve, so we can throw two grenades. Throwing is affected by agility times four. Swift learner, what garbage. You are able to move at walking speed while prone. Also quite useful. I'm going to go with hit the deck. Because... All we do is throw grenades. And I think that this is a good little safety perk to prevent us from doing damage to ourselves. So. I don't think that there's much left to do on this map except to, to drain it of all its worldly goods. Which I think is something that we can do next time. Oh, for crying out loud, I hate stairs so much. Hey, a big book of science. Not entirely sure what we do with a big book of science, but anyway. Someone used paint to create that town hall sign. Well, you certainly don't. Someone actually just seriously just used paint to make that sign. That is the uh, that is the spray tool if ever I've seen it. What 
What is that? Papers. No description. Alright, that's it for now. I guess next time what I'll do is I'll put Mother in the extraction zone and then we'll just start loading her up with stuff. I'm not going to be tedious. I know that you could be, but I'm not going to be tedious and try and uh, clear away all the mines. Just seems a bit pointless. But we will grab all the weapons and items and stuff. I'm very pleased to have received Vindicator miniguns. They're actually really good. The perfect accompaniment to my sniper rifle. Still no power armor. That is the one area where we're really being let down. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.